the breakthrough in Terminator 2 was to seamlessly blend digital now, digital animation to create a character seamlessly with animatronic and puppet technology and makeup technology. And so everything, as Jim always wanted to do, and I would suggest that every director and filmmaker, when he's working with human beings, do. He wanted to do as much live as he could. Whatever we could do live with puppetry, we could do. Whatever we couldn't do live, we would do with digital animation. He would create this, this liquid metal man. So with our puppets for Terminator 2, we made various puppeted effects. Every time the, the T-1000 was damaged, broken apart, or hit with a, a, a bullet or an axe or whatever, we would create the damage using puppetry, animatronic effects, and we chromed what was called liquid, uh, uh, actually uh, metalizing, uh, vacuum metalizing. We would metalize flexible surfaces. So we created these little, what we called exploding flowers that when the Terminator, the T-1000 the T would get hit with a bullet, this chrome flower would explode. And it was a little, a little mechanical device. And it was a little uh, um, flexible rubber chrome device. It went like that, and it would become a, you know, a, 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 a gun hit. And then digitally, digital technology, it would close up and repair. And his, uh, it would get a, sh a shot right through a big hole in the middle of his head. We would create a puppet version of complete puppeted head of the T-1000 that showed, and you could look right through it, the exploded uh, T-1000 metal, and then digitally that would close up. And we would, do th we would split his head completely open with a shotgun, and it was a puppet with a liquid metal, and it would, would open up like that, it was this chromed interior and then digitally close back up. We'd split his body, and it would be a complete puppet, an animatronic puppet, and then they'd repair it with digital technology. And we advanced it to the point where we could do effects as advanced and beyond animatronic technology we'd seen, where you could, we ripped the arm off of the skin off of Arnold's arm, and a completely animatronic robotic hand moved in all of these joints in a very organic way, <clears throat> that was totally live. Everything is advancing together. Never done it before. No book to go to to how to do it. We're not going to have a book here either.